you don't get the show. All right, so going to the dark side of gaming, our, we are, our next story is man stabs his friend 63 times for making them lose a Fortnite match. And it, it, it's, it's just crazy because the first little tag before the intro of the article says, we lost the match because of him. He had it well deserved, said the accused. <laughs> I'm just I'm just going to read this, you know, especially for the podcast people. So Julio Smith, a 21 year old man, has killed his 18 year old friend, Parlo John, for making them lose a match in a famous in the famous game Fortnite. I don't think that Fortnite wants to be famous for that. Uh, yesterday, Paulo brought his laptop to Julio's house so they could play Fortnite together and create winning strategies. After playing a very important match where they were about to win, Paulo made a mistake that cost them the match. According to Julio, Paulo said that his nose was itching, and that's why he made the mistake. Nevertheless, Julio reached well, it says reached a knife. Ooh, wow, they need some editing here. Yeah. Reached for a knife and ended Paulo's life by stabbing him 63 times. After calming down, Julio called an ambulance to see if he could survive, but it was too late. Julio was arrested today in the morning for murder and could face up to 10 years, only 10 years in prison. He says he regrets nothing and that <laughs> he, Paulo, had it well deserved. The only thing he feels bad about is he won't be able to play Fortnite anymore. What the fuck? Yeah, it's... So here's the funny thing. What I laugh at about this is the fact that he said that... <laughs> <laughs> the fact that after calming down <laughs> yeah it's like he just stood there like <sighs> well like, oh shit I gotta call I guess I'll call it that's fucking funny yeah whoever the fuck wrote this needs to like needs some microsoft word and shit well see you know that's one of the things that i've noticed too uh back in the day i i mean i was a king of typos back in the day and i still make typos and i've written tons of stuff including books but it, it, I used to be just so afraid of like writing something for like anywhere else because I was like, I'm going to miss something and I'm going to look like an idiot. I've seen typos on Time, uh, CNN, doesn't matter. Like, you know, Health and Post from the top of the top news and articles and magazines to someone's blog. And it, man, people are just missing stuff. Yeah. Um, okay. About the story itself, I just don't understand this like. Like, how could you kill your friend? Like, I mean, the maddest I've ever gotten is when, when someone purposely threw a match. And even that, I think I just pushed the guy. But I don't yeah. understand, like, how you get to the point where you would actually, like, stab someone. And it, it, it's not even like you grabbed a pen or something and you did that. I mean, that'd still be horrible. But 63 times? Like, there has to be something totally broken. And then no remorse. I don't understand how you put all those factors together and you get 10 years. I've seen people who have like stole candy bars that get 10 years. So <laughs> am I missing something here? Or is it cause yeah. he's young? Or... I don't know. Like it's, it's one of those things that the only re thing that I can think of that they would get 10 years other than that. Maybe a fake story would be, if his he had a hell of a lawyer and they talked him down to like a manslaughter charge or something, yes, you know. I mean, I know way. premeditated is a big thing, so they I, maybe his defense was something like I lost it and I went crazy and for some reason, right. if you say that and it, it it's true in this case to a point, it's not like he planned to kill him. But I guess you could say it was in a moment of rage, but man, I. I think you have to put all the pieces together when you put these sentences together and be like, yeah. look, first it was over a game. It was a friend. There was no threat to the guy. And it's 63 times. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Hey, guys, listen. You like the games? You like the interviews? You like the shows? How about you click on that subscribe button and also give us a like? We really need your help here. huh?